Are you a bit undecided between a 16 by 9 aspect ratio laptop and have been eyeing the 16 by 10 aspect ratio or the 3 by 2 aspect ratio? In this video we are going to compare these aspect ratios side by side, talk a bit about the pros and the cons with each one of them, and then I'm going to choose my personal favorite for which one to get. If you like this video after watching it, I would be super happy if you want to put a like on the video and if you want to communicate with me, you can do so in the comment section below or on Instagram where I'm also at W2Best. I've been wanting to make this video for a pretty long time, but so far I haven't had enough experience with the 3 by 2 aspect ratio to really be able to talk about how that compares to the other aspect ratios. I've used 16 by 10 aspect ratio for quite a while in my different Mac computers. And then the last few years 16 by 9 has been my go-to aspect ratio both in 15 and 14 inch sizes. But now when I got the Huawei MateBook 14 in for testing, and I've been using that for the last two and a half weeks or so, I've really seen the difference between all of the three aspect ratios and can comfortably talk about which one I think you should choose for different use cases. Here you have all the three aspect ratios that we are looking at in this comparison. On the left hand side here we have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio laptop. This is a 14 inch Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. In the middle here we have a 16 by 10 aspect ratio laptop. This is a MacBook Air 2020 and this is a 13 inch laptop. And then on the right side here we have the third aspect ratio which is 3 by 2 and this is a MateBook 14 which is a 14 inch laptop as you can hear by the name. Putting them up side by side like this, even though the MacBook Air is a little bit smaller screen, you can still see the point of comparing aspect ratios here. The Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 is the lowest screen, but therefore also the widest screen. Then the MacBook Air is a tiny bit higher, because this has a higher aspect ratio. Keep in mind though that the MacBook Air also have a bit bigger bezels compared to the other guys. And then we have the 3 by 2 aspect ratio a little bit higher compared to the MacBook Air. And that is just what aspect ratio is. It is the ratio between the length and the height of the monitor. And the taller the monitor, the more it will fit on the length. But the wider the monitor, the more it will fit on the width. And let's look at a few examples of how that can actually play out. When putting a video up that is a video of some gameplay footage, you can clearly see the difference between the three monitors here. On the left hand side, the video completely fills out the whole screen. In the middle, there are a little bit of black borders in the top and in the bottom. And then keep in mind there is a black bezel as well in that screen. And then on the right hand side you have a bit larger black border and then there's really small bezels in that MateBook 14 as well. To exemplify a place where the 16x10 and the 3x2 fares better than the 16x9, let's bring out a document and see how that looks. First of all, having something that completely fills out each screen like you can see here. This list from Google Drive is a perfect example of when you can show more information in the higher aspect ratio monitors compared to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I have now set this to similar settings in each monitor to make it as fair as possible. I have removed the taskbar in each laptop and then I have set it to show menus so that we have the same kind of setup between the three laptops. In the 16 by 9 aspect ratio it shows about 25 lines and a little bit more. In the 16 by 10 you can see 27 lines. And in the 3 by 2 you can see 38 lines of information. So that's a fair difference between these aspect ratios and that really shows the use you can have for a 3x2 aspect ratio. These are the two main laptops I have been using over the past four months or so. 
and uh, the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i and the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 I've used for a very long time as my main work laptop. And then recently I've been testing out the Huawei MateBook 14, which is the 3x2 aspect ratio laptop in this example. And the biggest difference I feel like is really when it comes to working on multiple apps at the same time. As I have lined it up right now is an example of how I very often work with one document to one side and then my Google Keep on the other side or a messaging app on one side and another app window on the other side. And when you get that extra height, I just feel like you can really use the apps a lot more. You get much more of an overview when you get that extra height in. You can type out more, you see more rows when you are using Google Sheets, you see more lines of code if you're coding, and it just really helps out to have that when you are running two windows side by side. So for the 14 inch screen size, my preferred choice have been the 3 by 2 aspect ratio. One thing to also keep a lookout for is the difference in size when you fold them together. Even though these are both 14 inch laptops, the perceived size is a little bit bigger in the 3 by 2 aspect ratio, I think, compared to the thinner 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But it's not a huge difference, and I mean, these are small ultrabooks anyhow, so it's not that any one of them is going to be big and bulky. Placing the 16x9 on top, you can see the difference in size there. And then placing the 3x2 on top, you can see the difference in width there. I've been spending a lot of time on 16x9 aspect ratio. And I would still say that if you are gaming or watch a lot of content, like if you consume video and game content, the 16x9 aspect ratio is still the only aspect ratio that you should really go for. It is so much nicer to have content that fill out the whole screen and you actually make use of your screen real estate instead of getting a smaller video or a smaller game with black borders in the bottom and in the top. If you are primarily using your laptop for work, for example for writing, for programming or for doing a lot of excel sheets, I truly recommend getting a higher aspect ratio laptop and primarily I would look at the 3 by 2 aspect ratio. I primarily use my laptops for work, for video editing and then for some occasional gaming. And that occasional gaming I'm completely fine doing with a bit of borders in top and bottom. So I'm fine being on 3 by 2 for pretty much all my different tasks. When it comes to video editing, I think the 3 by 2 aspect ratio is actually a big plus there because it can fit two preview windows as well as your timeline with a few more rows of content in the timeline. So I have really enjoyed video editing with the higher aspect ratios, but this may be a little bit of up to each and every one of you to decide. And that leads me to the next point, which is really do try out a higher aspect ratio monitor in some way before you decide which one to get. It is really hard to know for your personal use cases if you haven't tried the different aspect ratios. So if you have any chance to go to a store and put them up side by side and see how they compare in your day to day tasks, that makes an insane difference. I can really recommend doing it. Pretty much the same as I was doing in the video here. If you are doing both a bit of gaming and you're doing a bit of programming or writing, is then 16 by 10 the perfect compromise between the aspect ratios? I'm not completely sure. The times I've been using 16 by 10, I think it kind of doesn't do justice to either or. I think for my work tasks, 3 by 2 aspect ratio is going to be what I'm going for moving forward. It's almost like I don't need an extra screen on the side, which I have always needed when I've used Full HD 16 by 9. And now when I'm on a Quad HD 3 by 2 aspect ratio, I really feel like the amount of space and the amount of pixels I have 
is ample for almost everything I do. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials, and if you like this video it would be super nice if you wanted to subscribe to this channel, that helps me out a ton and gives you the content that I'm going to be putting out in the upcoming weeks and months. I hope you have a really good day and then I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye!